We're back to some crop field pastures this time. Thankfully, we've got a, a wheat field as well as some barley. This is the inside of the harvester. It's pretty much impossible to see anything. So let's go back outside. I suppose you can change, well, I do know you can change the field of view, but I think that's only on the outside. I don't think you can actually do that once you're inside different vehicles, which is a bit unfortunate because it is a bit, it's a bit too close together. It doesn't seem too realistic, your field of view. But at least we can see stuff now with the harvester down. So we're going to be on working on this field for quite a little while yet. Uh, we've got a nice amount of wool. I think we've got about another space for about eight more bales, but I'm not exactly sure if I'll fill it all up. Uh, what a, no, we can't speed everything up because we still have that field. Oh, well, both fields to be harvested. So we'll just get this guy ready. Actually, I wonder, excuse me, I wonder, it'd be rather interesting if we just set up our front loader and just waited it out and just lifted back the uh, the pallets with the maximum amount of wool. Does it still count? Does it still recognize that we have the wool over here? I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Yes, it does. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so you're the fertilizer. I'm going to have to take the fertilizer off. Go take that tip up, and I think we're going to have to actually go ahead and drop everything. But you know what? Instead of doing that, we'll go ahead and attach, or well, we're going to have to end up moving this anyway. It's just so nice to see a field properly grown out. It looks really, really good. Oh, too close. Oh yes, in America, you did, you did me proud. You got Barack Obama into office. But then again, your, uh, your lower house, well, what I call the lower house, is uh, Republican dominated, and then the Senate's obviously American. I was glad to see that the guy that uh, was talking about legitimate rape but didn't get elected into the Senate. Good stuff, America. Good stuff. We should really pick up all those eggs. But you got to love the hypocrisy of the people that were going for Romney and were swearing that he'd be voted in. And now they're acting like a bunch of butthurt little children. Especially Donald Trump. He's the worst. And he thinks that America's laughing at... No, the rest of the world's laughing at America because of the way the election turned out. No, they, the rest of the world laughs at America because of the Republican Party. And that is the honest truth. And that's the way it's going to be for a long while yet. If you look at like polls in every other nation of just like pretty much just basic questionnaires of who out of both candidates the the countries like other countries preferred, it'd be pretty much 90% uh, Barack Obama they'd prefer, especially in Australia. Australia is a very progressive nation, even though we've had some conservative governments for quite a while. Okay, so what I'm doing is we'll get this massive trailer and this will definitely pretty much get the whole field done. And look at that, we've already our half, we've already filled up our harvester already. So this should be more than enough, this trailer at least. Let's go ahead and check if there are any special demands or great demands. No, there's none whatsoever, which is cool. I love that no matter what tipple we can get with this new harvester though, the arm's high enough to just fill it all up. Which is good because with the other harvester, the arm was very, very short and it was quite low to the ground. So we wouldn't be able to fill up this trailer with it. There we go, 9,000 and then off you go again. I'm sure most of you guys would be screaming at me because of the way I failed at this, but I do know we need hay bales and straw bales as well, so that will still take a while because we don't have enough money to bale everything, but with the progress of the new field, I'm sure it won't last too long. What I'll do is I'll quickly fold this, because it's not completely necessary. Am I folding it? X. There we go. 
And where exactly is the mower? Okay, it's over there. I just want to mow a bit. Okay, that's good enough. After all, grows, grass grows back right away, so we, you don't need to seed that back up. Almost had it. If only there was a way to hire a worker as well. I'm going to have to do this manually. What if we go over the hay? Okay, that's cool. Nothing really happens. So let's just cut some stuff in our free time. really would be so much more time efficient if we bought something new but that's pretty much what we say every episode we want to buy something new who doesn't want to buy some new toys to play around with is there any grass on this side yes it is it does grow back really quick uh what i'm really interested in but it'll take us quite a while is trying to bring the forage wagon over to the golf course and see if the grass actually piles up or if it only counts as if it was one uh, cut or if the grass actually piles up over and over again that would be pretty good if it did and now this can be pretty much perfect for our windrower we'll be able to align all of this up into one row but in the meantime we need to quickly go check back we're still doing fine. Okay, let's go back with you. You know what? We're going to just wait until this harvester comes around. So that's the right thing to do. It's not even 80% yet because the arm's not out. But we might actually fill this up to about 75 or so percent, which is quite nice. Then the barley field, that's not much at all. And I do want to go ahead and open up the Giants map editor, up, but I'm really sketched out. I, I probably should save the game save, which I do, but I just don't want to wreck everything because if I wreck everything, then I won't be able to continue the Let's Play. I do want to remove the trees that are on the sides of the fields because they get mighty annoying. But I really don't want to destroy the game save. But again, if you have backups, everything should be fine. So I'll go ahead and give that a try soon, hopefully. If I do remember to do that. That's pretty sweet. Hello, he's catching up to us. He's driving a little bit faster. Right. Let's just go ahead and get ready for the next couple of throws. It is interesting that no matter what tight the how tight the angle is, your trailer never actually releases itself. Unlike in Euro Truck Simulator, if you drive like a lunatic, then you're pretty much guaranteed to lose your trailer. Let's go turn this back on. Keep driving. We need the cows in the background. Actually, how much milk do we have? That would be interesting just to find out. Wait, we just went past statistics. Cows, cows, cows. 1,250 liters, but then there's that milk tanker that comes along every once in a while. Uh, what we should do is go ahead and equip the windrower. But we've got a loss of liquid manure. That's something that I should invest in. Uh, do you guys have any grass? Yeah, you do, you have a lot of grass. That's nice. So let's go ahead and put the windrower on so we get a couple of nice lines. But before we do that, we're going to have to move this other guy. There he is. 
nothing inside. It was a bit of a waste of money just to get it, but it was 30% off, so I'm not going to deny myself that. Just move it over here. It is also interesting that even though we have how much? We've got 12,000 litres of grass, it still doesn't come up in the trough. It magically disappears after a while. So we need to... Where are we going? There we go. This is where we want to be. Now, how do we turn it on? Press B. And off we go. What I've noticed is the game does lag up quite a little bit once we've got the windrower on. I don't know why. It's probably just because the things are moving so quickly and it just works out really weirdly or something. Okay, and it lines it's all in one neat little row. So all we have to do is just go past it with a forager uh, once in a while. But I think what we're doing is a, actually quite a bad mistake because all this does is actually it doesn't dry it out. So I think what we should do is go ahead and use a tether first, or shouldn't we? I think that's a good idea. Oh, well, we're always learning. All these new fancy schmancy toys. What we've got to do is just make sure that none of our toys are in the way of that milk tanker. Are we folding up? Yeah, no. Turn it off. Press X. There we go. Now I can go get to work on that tether. But I'm not actually going to because it's not necessary. You're all done. So let's go to you. Hopefully we get a good enough angle on it. Yeah, I think it will. It will be pretty sweet. So you're probably about halfway done. And we've, we're going to fill up about 36% of our tanker. Which is quite a decent price. I'm not going to be complaining about that. And we're doing it quite quickly. We don't have to teleport too much. It's just that uh, the harvester... See, this is the largest harvester you can get, but it's still only 9,000 litres. So, you've got to use a tipper pretty much all the time. It'd be fantastic to play multiplayer with this. But my brother's not really into the game, unfortunately. He used to be really into the 2011 game, but he doesn't really like this as much. Oh, so we're actually on 42% filled. Nice. And we still got that barley crop. Um, should we go ahead and use anything? Now, you know what? I don't actually don't really want to use the field for anything. I'm just going to wait until we get a, another great demand for either canola, uh, not canola, oh, well, yeah, canola, wheat, or barley, either one, because we're going to be having quite a lot of all of them. Uh, back to you. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and dry some grass out for some hay. And then I think we're going to have to reuse the windrower again. Pretty sure how that's how it works. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll be able to dry it out all in one go. Let's turn it on. Give it a shot. No, ah, oh, damn it! It spreads it out everywhere. That's a shame. Well, at least there's lots of hay. Now, 
Let's go back to you. Your armor is still filled up again. Uh, well, our sheep aren't going to be doing too good. How about we go do something a little bit different and uh, just go a little bit more conservative and not fill up this whole trailer, but we'll just deliver these four. Um, I'm not exactly sure where we're driving to. I think I'll need to go to the right. This way, hands are, it's past that mill, all the way over to where that petrol station symbol is, where that ball is, because that's wool. I think one of these sells for about two and a half grand. So that should be about ten grand or so. But we don't really need to, sit, well, yeah, we don't really need to spend our money on anything really right now. So we've got five fields now. Wow. That went by pretty quick because we bought field 38 and field 35 for grass. For our animals to be happy. So they stop complaining and we don't have to hear about them. So I really wanted to get involved into some beet harvesting and all the beetroot, not beetroot, but sugar beets and potatoes. That will take us a, quite a while before we go ahead and do that. So that dream has got to be dashed for the time being at least. Uh, but Bailing technology does seem to be quite useful, so we'll definitely have a much closer look at that, especially once the money is there, because we'll need about $250,000 all up, because we'll need the auto baler, the square auto baler, and then you'll also need the auto trailer, where you just drive past the balance and it automatically puts it on for you, which is really sweet. It's a long drive, so in the meantime, while we're doing all this driving, we should go ahead and check on this guy. He's probably going to stop very soon. There he is. As we were just saying, he just stopped just then. You're all good. Let's keep driving. Well, the wool textures look nice. It looks a bit like cotton. That's one downloadable content or just even a mod that I would love to see some cotton and just add something like that into the game as well. Because they've only added two crops and they're pretty much exactly the same as well. See, what I would have thought is you would have, well, as a city guy, I would have thought maybe the potato harvesting machine and sugar beet harvesting machine would have been exactly the same, but alas it isn't, for whatever the reason. Couldn't imagine there being too much of a difference though. So let's just have a close look at how much we've got. We've got $51,400. $51,400. I think we just drive into it. Oh, wow. That was a lot of money. What's that? That's almost $40,000. Almost. It's about $35. Get over. That's really good. That's a lot better than I'd expected, at least. Wow, that is really good. See, so speeding up time and just waiting for your... Um, harvest to grow the sheep actually do make quite a good profit if you s speed up time quite a bit that's really good all right so let's not drive up too much not torture you thankfully our harvest hasn't caught up yet gonna have to get out of his way though oh it looks like I missed a bit of a large area with my uh, saw this guy is just sitting back, relaxing. Okay. Okay. Well, I actually don't need to drive you back. We'll go do that when you guys aren't watching. So I guess it's just back to you. And I'm tempted to speed up time, but then my barley crop will die. And we've got to go ahead and do that. So let's go to the harvester. And you know what? How about we harvest ourselves? Haven't been doing much of that. Oh. Go. 
you can save a bit of time going like this. So you don't have that overlap. See, so it's pretty much perfect. I think there's about two more goes though. Yeah, there's about two more goes. Oh, and we're missing large bits. Unfortunately, that's going to have to die. We'll come back around and we'll have to deliver the goods. Let's rehire that worker. Just get ready. There we go, it's hit 80%. Use the arms back out. We do have 57 eggs, which is something that I should keep in mind. I'm really lazy in not picking them up. How much do I have? I have exactly 126 eggs on me right now. Thankfully, you're not hitting a tree anytime soon. Doesn't seem like it, at least. He's going to be coming back and forth a couple more times, no doubt. Yeah, different tractors have many different harvesting speeds, especially like depending on how much weight you're carrying and all that stuff, because our harvest is going a lot faster than our actual tractor. Wow, it's going to be almost 100% of this tip of full of wheat just from this farm, which was fertilized. And soon we should go ahead and buy a slurry tanker. We lagged up a bit then. Let's go ahead and check how much the slurry tankers actually cost. Now we're done here. Bailing technology, let's look at that as well. Uh, this one, uh, we're definitely going to go have to go for that one. So both of these, $95,000 and $120,000. Okay. Yep, we got the best forager, didn't we? Yeah, we own one of these. What is the difference? I think they're pretty much just rival companies and this one's better, which is good that we've got the best one. Uh, what we want is the slurry tankers. There we go. This one must have a massive range. It's $70 a day, but it has a large volume as well. We're going to have to be doing a bit of driving with it though. But it seems like it's got massive arms to spread out or wings or whatever. Okay, so this guy is doing quite well for himself. So let's just get ready to fill him up. Now we'll get to work on that barley filled pronto. Okay, he's going to be coming back for seconds. Hopefully he doesn't crash into the tree, which I wouldn't be too surprised if he did. Unfortunately, that's a cold hard fact of life. When it comes to this game, I think we'll be good. So let's go actually work the harvester. Wait until it's done. Put its arm out. Wait, we can't put its arm out because we have that hired worker. Unfortunately, There you go, you should be done. No, you still think you're doing this. Yeah, this is another thing that I've noticed, is that sometimes the game thinks there's invisible uh, canola. Well, obviously there is, because he's doing something. He was doing something for all that while, but it does get a little bit annoying. Put the arm out. So obviously it can go really quickly when it's going straight, but extremely slowly when it's turning around. 
but it ended awkwardly. Thankfully it didn't, and off to the barley field we go. Okay, that shouldn't last us too long, uh, but firstly we'll go ahead and drop our wheat over into the silos. Tell this guy to have a field day. Go crazy, okay. We shift back. No. There we go. That's 50,000 off one field. 50,000 tons or liters or whatever this game wants to say. That is a lot. And we obviously missed that one little line as well. So it could have been a fair amount more as well. So probably 90 people, maybe not 90% filled of this trailer, but a fair amount. I'm not going to go ahead and seed anything. I really want just to get some good money going. So with the solar collector and speeding time up a bit with the sheep, I'll go ahead and do all that. We should, well, we'll probably come back next episode right away, probably. Because I actually don't really need to field anything. Because we have the animals, we need to take care of them. Go ahead and cut some grass. I'm not really worried about the growth rates of grass, so. Everything's going quite fantastic for us. And of course, we have a bit of wheat storage already. And yeah, I really need to go ahead and uh, get these chickens to shut up, which we'll do right now. Oh, they get annoying after a little while. I feel sorry for you guys, but you have a mute button though. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, I think that's more than enough, to be honest. I don't want to torture myself anymore. Alright. So, out of here we go. Back into the vehicle. Deliver this, and we're going to have to drive back. Hopefully in time before the harvester is all filled up with barley. Look at that. Look at the barley. I mean the wheat. It's magically disappeared. Right. Oh, oh. Gotta love the conveyor belt. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, she is moving about still. We'll stop once we close up. So, canola, I can't remember how much it sells, so I think it's, well, not canola, wheat. I think there is a multiplier for two times wheat. So, if we got that, we'd get about $2,400 per wheat. So, that's pretty good. That's as much as you'd get per canola on a good day. So how's our harvester doing? He still doesn't seem to have his arm out, so that means he's less than 80% filled. There it is. Speak of the devil. Giving him an extra 500 units of space. Yeah, the good thing about the um, workers is that they automatically stop if they're at the end of a row and you have a tipper just uh, being filled up. That's quite nice. So they don't continue on and make it 10 times harder for you. They actually do stop, which is kind of neat. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we don't have any barley left. So that is quite unfortunate. 
Let's actually have a quick look, Gander, at the fields 15 and 16. It's in the middle, ready to harvest, so we could probably speed up time a little bit and get away with it. But we'll be back with another episode shortly. There'll be a ga game save down below, hopefully, for you guys, if anyone's interested in continuing on from here. But thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll be back very shortly.